a site the Netherlands wants to remove from its landscape. Emissions from burning coal at the Eemshaven power plant. German energy provider RWE bought the plant in 2015, four years before the Dutch government adopted a law banning the use of coal by 2030. The company's 1.4 billion euro claim at an international arbitration court in Washington has shocked Dutch lawmakers. Uh, they already receive hundreds of millions subsidy for, for the biomass uh, uh, use. So, uh, yeah, that's why I think it's a shameless uh, attempt of this company. And the fact that uh, yeah, the Netherlands is way behind in, in reducing uh, the emission of carbon, uh, then uh, the whole society has to take painful steps and also these big companies, because this uh, coal plant is the biggest emitter of carbon in the whole of the Netherlands. The director of RWE has faced some tough questions in parliament. Politicians accused the company of burdening taxpayers after profiting from a lack of climate policies for many years. Criticism is unjustified. We built this plant on the specific request of the Dutch government. And uh, after we built, only after we built the plant, the Dutch government to change its mind, decided to change its mind. But it was 2015 and it was already clear that coal would be uh, a problem, right? No, uh, only the first time the parliament voted to look for closure possibilities of coal was after the opening of the power plant. RWE is not the only European company that has used the controversial Energy Charter Treaty to claim large sums of compensation or hold European energy transition projects altogether. The treaty signed in the 1990s was meant to protect European investors from so-called unstable states. But environmentalists say it has increasingly become a secret weapon used by European energy companies against European states. The largest coal-powered plant here in this remote part of the Netherlands is at the center of an international test case. The main question is whether countries that are willing to phase out fossil fuels will have to pay a high price for reducing CO2 emissions, and one that some may not be willing to pay. Fearing similar claims, Italy decided to leave the energy treaty in 2015. But due to a so-called sunset provision, companies can still file claims within a period of 20 years. That's why environmental groups are urging European nations to reform the treaty to protect states. I think it's absolutely been a mis mistake to, uh, to start this uh, treaty uh, in the 90s. In the 90s, although not many people were, uh, were thinking about climate change and how to adapt to it, we already knew about climate change, how bad it was, how urgent it was to, um, uh, to cut down on fossil fuels. And at this time, they signed this treaty that gives massive protection to fossil fuel companies. Uh, so they could have known then that it was a problem and that it would, that it would be a big risk. RWE says if it wins the case, it wants to invest compensation money into its renewable energy projects. But the company's legal steps are not convincing those who have been fighting for clean energy in the Netherlands that the energy company is on their side. Stepfasen, Al Jazeera, Eemshaven, Groningen.